So let's create the newsletter template so that you can use it over and over again for your future newsletter emails in MailerLite. Okay, so once you log into your MailerLite account, you go to your, click on your profile image and you'll get a drop down menu. There you will click on my templates and then create a template. Give it a name. So monthly newsletter template. Click on next. And you can do two things. One is go to predefined designs, but you'll need to be on a paid plan. And that you would literally just use one that has already been made and you you just change the, the content itself, the images and the text. So there's lots of options on there, but you'll need to be on a paid plan. If you're on the free plan, which you get with MailerLite up to a thousand subscribers and they give you a lot of functionality with that. So that's why we really like working with MailerLite as well as the fact that their customer service is fantastic. I find the whole dashboard extremely um, friendly, user experience friendly compared to some other ones that I've worked with. So um, that's one of the reasons why we like them so much. So let's start from scratch and use the drag and drop editor. You'll be presented with a blank email um, template, which you can then customize to your um, company's brand or business's brand. You can delete absolutely everything or you can use what they have suggested. Here on the left hand side, you will have a whole selection of different blocks that you can use, literally drag and drop. And there is pretty much something for anything that you're wanting to do in your emails. I would keep this view in browser because I have seen from data that a lot of people actually do click on that. So they don't view the email in their email um, program, they click on the browser and see it all in there. So I would include that, keep that there. Then each block you'll be able to customize. So this is pulling the logo that I've uploaded to the Caffeinate account, uh, MailerLite account. You can change whatever logo you want to put there, but it should be your company logo. You can click on the image itself and choose which one you would like to use. You can edit it as well within MailerLite if you need, but preferably you do this before you get into MailerLite. Alt text, so a lot of the email browsers will default to not show images. So you want to um, have alt text so that we the, the, the reader can actually see what the image is about and then maybe choose to enable the images. URL, so if somebody did click on this, do you want them to go to your website or not? Usually emails with more than three links um, have a higher risk of going into spam because it's more promotional. But um, a monthly newsletter or a regular newsletter, the nature of it is that you will have lots of links. So that's just the way it is. But people might prefer a monthly newsletter instead of being bombarded three, four times a, a week um, so that they have one email, all the information is in there that they need to. So then the open rate and the click through rate is higher, which then signals to the spam catchers that actually you want to read this email. So it's a catch 22 here. Okay. Uh, also, if you want to move it to the left, to the right, you can change the size of the logo all within the settings tab here. Then the actual template settings as the whole template is defined here. You can change the, the, the font for the whole um, newsletter and we use Montserrat, uh, sorry, uh, Open Sans for the copy. So uh, we align it with our brand. So if website fonts that we use, the brand fonts should be reflected in your newsletter so it all fits nicely together. So you're going to, if your font is Open Sans throughout your content on your website, I recommend you do the same on your newsletter. <clears throat> you can change the background color. You can change the pre-header font. Then on the content, this is the content of the whole newsletter. You can change heading uh, font. So that's Montserrat. So each time you then you put a new block in, it will 
inherit the template settings that you are setting now. So it takes, takes some time and actually set this up right so that the next newsletter you create, it's much easier. It inherits the, the, the settings that you have spent time doing and it keeps it all aligned with your brand. Okay, so find that. Heading two, I'm also going to change to Montserrat. Subtitles, I definitely don't want green. Um, our corporate colors are purple. We can also add custom colors if you need be over here. Link colors as well, I want to customize it and I want to make sure that it is underlined. And so you, you proceed and customize your entire newsletter to your brand. Buttons as well, the button color for us will be pink or purple. We have sharp edges, so we reduce the border radius, but you can add, if you have a pill style button, you can do that as well. And that's fine, and then footer settings, so that's this section over here. Again, you can choose your, your fonts, your colors, everything here. Okay, so now I have customized the actual style of the newsletter. Now I can create the newsletter. So every time your email goes out, does it start with a header or does it go with an intro text first? So if you're going to do um, high name and you give them a little intro section, then I would get rid of the title and write it here, hi, and then you insert a variable, which would be name. So that means it will pull the name from your contact list. I also don't want it in the middle, I want it all aligned left. And here I do my intro paragraph. Oops, sorry. And a sign off if I need. And then let's say, uh, yeah, I want to showcase an article. I would go and upload the article image. Let's say it's this one. And then a call to action. Or if you are wanting to add some blog articles, you can go to the blog section. Here are we. Go to drag and drop, and then you can also just go up with the arrows if it's easier. Sometimes it's a little bit too sensitive. Oops. I'm going to delete that. So we can call that latest articles. And if you want to put the blog URL, you can. If you want to do a little text here, you can. And then you can update the individual articles. So you update image, link the URL, heading, description. If you would like two buttons, so one button to go there and one button to go there, you can go and even type in here buttons and drag and drop the buttons over there. You see it will take the styling that we had set right at the beginning. Then you can add and take away as much as you want. Any helpful links, you want to put a lead magnet, you want to showcase an offer, more articles, you can just drag and drop. When you have finished, you will click on Save Template. And in your templates, you'll find it over there. And then you can go ahead and click on the cog icon and create a campaign from it. So now you'll create a whole campaign. You have the styling of your newsletter and you just change the content and then you proceed to send. And then the next time you're going to be doing the newsletter, you do the same so that consistently you have the same look and feel and people get to recognize you.